All right, folks, FX Friends here doing another uh, Tech Sushi exclusive video review, this time of the Transformers Prime Arms Micron 25 Nemesis Prime uh, by Takara Tomy. Um, or we begin, as always, here's a, here's a quick look at the Japanese import box. Everything's in Japanese. I do not know how to read or speak Japanese. That's the way I can read Nemesis Prime. Well, Nemesis Prima! Um, he comes with his uh, arms micron, obviously. I do not know the name because, I, again, I can't read Japanese. Um, and this is it. So anyway, uh, the mold uses the robots in disguise uh, Voyager class Optimus Prime mold. It's exactly the same one. This one, I think, is a new Arms Micron because the other incarnations of this mold for Takara Tomy, um, the Optimus Prime versions, has a gun for a, um, Arms Micron, I think, and the Toys R Us exclusive has like a Star Saber or whatever. So this is, I think, this particular Arms Micron is unique to this figure. So anyway, let's start this review by talking about the figure. Um, I have not actually up to this day purchased uh, a robot in the, but as of making this video I do not have a robot in disguise Voyager class Optimus Prime by Hasbro or by Takara simply because I was not impressed uh, with the with the actual figure um, because in packaging this guy looks very back heavy and kiblish at the back as you can see there's just a ton of kibble but when you open him up you see that it's only when you look at him directly in front that he looks kibbly but in, at other angles it really does not look so much like a backpack uh, versus maybe folded up wings so it, it's not as heavy to look at when you actually open up this guy in in person that's one so whatever bad things I said about the robots the robots in disguise Voyager class Optimus Prime mold, I take it all back because this figure is fantastic. It is phenomenal. Um, ha uh, not Hasbro, Takara Tomy did a splendid, fantastic job uh, with this incarnation of this mold. Um, and if you did watch the show, you'll know that this isn't exactly Op Nemesis Prime. Nemesis Prime is like the evil version of Optimus Prime, quote unquote. I, I, I'm improperly summarizing the guy here is the uh, here's the only other incarnation of nemesis prime that they have this is the uh universe transformers universe voyager class nemesis prime and he, his colors are actually inaccurate uh the uh, windshield are supposed to be red or at least green but they're supposed to be red uh but this in the, in the transformers universe he is the Badass Optimus Prime, literally badass, bad Optimus Prime. Uh, I don't really follow the Japanese anime, um, comic book, and the cartoon, so I'm not. I don't really follow this character, but I do like the color scheme, and I do like the sort of a concept of if Optimus Prime fell to the dark side. If you want this one to be show accurate, don't apply the uh, decals. The metallic aquamarine decals and the instructions do tell you that it is optional but if you want him to be show accurate because on the show um, mech there's an organization called mech M M E C H. it's a human organization that's destined to build their own transformer to fight the Autobots or Decepticons Silas the leader actually hijacks um, no, not hijacks, but decides to build their own transformer and has him remotely piloting uh, this particular uh, transformer uh, in the image of Optimus Prime and sort of frames Optimus Prime by doing bad things. Anyway, uh, if you want it to be more show accurate, don't put the decals because he's really just gray and very little paint on him. But I wanted to give character, I wanted to give this figure a little bit more character. I wanted to be more accurate to who Nemesis Prime should be, and as such, I actually stuck on the metallic paint apps so uh, the not paint apps the metallic decals so that's that's pretty interesting uh so paint apps on this guy phenomenal there's a lot of silver here and there the, the takara told me did a wonderful job in it um 
very nice articulation for the figure amazingly is quite posable um, there's no waist swivel which is kind of a pain but that's really because of I don't know I don't know what Hasbro was thinking or Takara but uh, there is no waist articulation it would have been nice if it did have but other but you know despite the lack of articulation in the waist the, the other all, all the other articulations do make up for it and it is a wonderful wonderful figure if you have to pick up a, uh, just a single incarnation of the robots in disguise voyager optimus this is the figure you want to pick up but the sword transforms into a minion or a um, it's like a bird like a like that like a condor i don't know it's the eye it's the wings and the tail and I don't know, the beak, I suppose, but it, it's stupid, I know. It's like laser beak or something like that. I don't know the, the name of the, uh, but it doesn't really matter because it still looks cool. I mean, it, this is not what you buy for. It is not what you're buying with this figure. You're really getting the the sword uh, for this one. So anyway, let's put that off to the side and transform this guy. Transform him. A little bit tricky with the arms, but hey, you know, it's not that bad. If you follow the instructions carefully, um, or you practice, um, it's going to be a piece of cake. Um, all right, just do it this way. Fold this back here. Fold this here. Rotate here. Okay. Like that. Like that. Like that. Okay, oops, what am I doing? Excuse me. All right, all right. You have to get it into this position. If you do so, then you know you're on the right track. Ah, next thing you want to do, you want to do the legs. Yeah, let's try and do the legs now. Uh, go ahead and fold this one in and out like that. And make sure you join them properly. And fold the shin guards up like that. Or maybe not. Yeah, you can fold that later. Um, and this is the tricky part. Um, these form the top of the hood on the engine. And these form on top. So the way to do it is you sort of fold the shoulders back like so. And then sort of slide the arm pieces underneath that. I hope that was clear enough for everybody. Like that. Hope everybody got that. Let's do it again. So fold the shoulders. Sort of slide the arm piece. Oh, sorry, the fist. I'm going to get a fist in. And then this one properly rotate it this way. So there. And that's that. And then you can start tabbing things in. Like that. Like that. Join the the uh, windshield together. And these, they just stay here. Oh, I sorry, I forgot something. Fold out these fins. Excuse me. And then join them together you can and they sort of go on top like that sort of <laughs> no not sort of actually they do come like that and now the shin guards they're supposed to go underneath and tab um, there's a, these flat tabs they're gonna tab onto those flat um, very narrow holes peg holes like that and then all that's left is uh, to tab in the wings to form the side panels of the cab. All right, and there is Nemesis Prime in his uh, semi, his alt mode. Um, sorry about that, lighting really sucked on that. But I hope everybody, I don't want to do that all over again. Uh, again, the weapon can, can peg onto the side. Sorry. Yeah, like that. Can it? It's supposed to. Darn it. Yeah, there we go. You can it this way 
or you can actually you can just mount it that way there's so many possibilities so many peg holes you can mount him onto you can even mount him up here in front so he'd be charging the autobots um, but here on the back is fine I think or can you actually start oh no yes <laughs> you can actually store it here um, yeah like that so that's fine I mean, pretty cool so a very very interesting figure I absolutely recommend it rec recommend this uh, this specific figure for all you arms micron fans out there for all you transformers prime fans out there it is worth the importation cost I actually picked this one up at our toys uh, it is 80% uh, more expensive than a Voyager, regular Voyager class figure, but it is definitely worth every penny you you pay for. So this has been FX France doing another Tech Sushi exclusive review, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please continue to stay tuned uh, to th this Tech Sushi channel. It's got a lot of awesome reviews coming up, and continue. Thank you for all your support for this channel, um, and, and uh, thanks for watching.